Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 ways to avoid paying in Genshin Impact. For this list, we'll be looking at the best ways you can avoid spending any money on MiHoYo's Genshin Impact while also making the most out of it as a free-to-play game. What do you think of these tips and tricks? Do you have any secrets to share with other players? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Easy to get characters. All players should be aware that the primary way Genshin Impact makes money is through microtransactions. The company will try as much as it can to tease you into spending just a few dollars on the off chance you pull that character you like. So when you're booting up a new account, it's essential to know who you can get for free. After you are introduced to Mondstadt, make sure you speed through those first few story quests to get Amber, Kaya, and Lisa added to the Traveler's team. While they are free, that doesn't necessarily mean they are bad, with Kaya in particular proving to be a valid DPS early on. But that's not all. An efficient Hydro Healer, Barbara, can be unlocked after reaching Adventure Rank 18 and completing the A Long Shot quest. Zhongling, a serious Pyro DPS character, can also be unlocked after reaching Adventure Rank 20 and completing Floor 3 of Chamber 3 of the Spiral Abyss. Also, while Noelle isn't necessarily free, she is the most straightforward, guaranteed character to get on a wish. You should get enough Aquian Fates to use on the beginner's wish banner between freebies and quest rewards, automatically unlocking this 4-star Geotank. <laughs> Number 9. Consider re-rolling your account. MiHoYo is generous enough to provide you with 10 wishes to spend on some of their illustrious banners once you start a new account. This means you could get some incredible 5-star characters without spending a dime. Furthermore, since you get access to them early on, starting over again is not as cumbersome as it sounds. First, you have to get past Adventure Rank 7, which takes less than an hour playing. Then, you spend those free wishes on each new account until you eventually get those fantastic 5-star pools that will likely carry you in the late game. If this sounds like cheating a casino machine, it's because that's exactly what we're doing. Number 8. How not to waste your currency. Zhongli excels in manipulating Geo, able to create and absorb Geo matter. Genshin Impact has some notoriously low drop rates compared to other gacha games, so it's important to know when and how to spend your wishes and primo gems. The main place you will spend your in game currency is on the four or more banners the beginner, the featured, the weapon, and the standard banner. The last three are always on rotation, offering different rewards over time. But while you might be tempted to spend on the standard and weapon banners, don't. Most of the stuff on offer there often can be found in the featured one. The only reason you might want to wish on the beginner banner is if you want a guaranteed Noel. But there are far more powerful characters out there, like the Geo Archon Zhang Li. If you plan to re-roll your account, focus on those featured. If your favorite character doesn't happen to be there, be patient. They will come back around eventually. Number 7. Using the Reputation System Once you begin grinding away on an account, you'll be taking advantage of the daily adventure guild quests. But did you know there is another underappreciated system that more people should take advantage of? After reaching Adventure Rank 25 and clearing several of the main quests in Mondstadt, Liyue, and Inazuma, you'll eventually unlock Genshin Impact's reputation system. After that, additional reputation quests will start popping up that cap in each region. On top of the typical Primogem achievement bonuses for these quests, the rewards can be pretty valuable. For example, you can unlock gadgets that reveal treasure chests in each region, acquire unique regional recipe cards, and reveal the locations of hidden Oculus relics that award you with stamina enhancements and key resources. What's even better is that you can get a region-specific cosmetic glider for your characters, one of the few you can get for free. 
Number six, saving your fragile resins. There are a lot of different items in Genshin Impact, so it can be pretty confusing knowing which one does what and which ones you should hoard. One item that becomes incredibly important in the late game is resin. Resin is a regenerating resource used to access rewards from certain in-game activities. So while you might have defeated a weekly boss like Devalin or Andreas, you cannot claim the rewards you've earned from that fight unless you spend a certain amount. This makes farming dungeons and bosses for loot a slow grind, as it caps how much you can do. The fragile resins are a special consumable that can immediately restore your 60 resin, something typically reserved for spending Primo Gems, Genshin's in-game currency. It'll be rewarded through the Battle Pass or when you level up at certain adventure ranks. You'll typically never want to cash these in until you're at least adventure rank 45. Saving them as placeholder artifacts or leveling up your coveted 5-star characters or weapons. It can be very easy to get bored with original resin after a while, and that's the point so you fall into the trap of using them all up and giving in to buying some Primo Gems. Number 5. Developing Your Serena Teapot Certain little helper to await you within this teapot. She will explain everything you need to know about it. The Serena Teapot, or Realm Within, is the customizable player home you can access after reaching Adventure Rank 28 and completing several mainline quests. A bit of base building acts as a nice distraction from the typical grinding in Genshin Impact, but what we're focused on is what you can gain from it. The more you build and expand your domain, the more Realm Currency you earn. You can exchange this Realm Currency for blueprints for your domain, or more importantly, you can buy specialty items. These can be character experience books, artifact experience items, and a weekly resin fragment worth 60 original resin. On top of that, you can get transient resin, which must be used within 10 days of purchasing. You can reap all of these rewards by building up your realm rank, and it all happens in the background, so it's a worthwhile time investment. Number 4. The Soft Pity System the base probability for a player obtaining a 5-star character is 0.6%, but there are ways to increase this likelihood thanks to the hidden pity system. It ensures that the player receives certain ranks of characters after wishing many times by increasing the probability percentage. By keeping track of it with the history button of the wish page, you can count your number of pools since your last 5-star character and try to cash in at the right time. However, it's different for each banner sometimes requiring you to hit at least 80 to 90 wishes before you're guaranteed to get a 5-star item or character. But what's even more interesting is the soft pity system. At 75 non-5-star pools on the character event and standard wish banner, the probability of a high-star pool slowly increases from 0.6% until it reaches 100% by your 90th pool. So keep this in mind when you start getting desperate for some of that 5 star goodness. Number 3. Getting free Primo Gems or in-game currency. Boring! Get out of my way! While miHoYo might try its hardest to tempt you into buying some in-game currency, we stingy folk know a couple of secrets to getting them for free. First is the most obvious, character test runs. While they try to tempt you into buying banners for new characters by letting you play them, they also offer a small reward of in-game currency after you complete the playthrough. The miHoYo company sometimes shares limited time promo codes alongside their live streams that could also net you a couple Primo Gems. Look them up online, as some websites are generous enough to document them. One code that usually resets monthly is Genshin Gift, all caps, all one word, which will net you 50 Primo Gems and 3 Heroes Wit. But be aware, 
You have to be at least Adventure Rank 10 to claim these. However, perhaps the easiest way to get free Primo Gems is through the MiHoYo fan website. HoYo Labs rewards fans for just logging into the site daily. Their singular rewards aren't the greatest, but if you keep up that daily login, you can get 20 free gems a week or up to 60 gems per month. For something as simple as checking into a website, it's a pretty sweet deal. Number 2. The Daily Grind We've shared plenty of secrets and hidden ways to take advantage of the free systems Genshin Impact offers, but with all these secrets, you shouldn't forget perhaps the most obvious ones that can gain you Primo Gems every day. Completing your main and side quests still offers plenty of rewards, which you'll likely be doing anyway. Filling up your map with new locations, achievements, and opening the countless chests across the various regions is a great way to get some free goodies. Using the free, fan-made maps online can give you a leg up to find those precious treasures. And of course, Genshin Impact's timed events can net you quite a few Primo Gems, so be sure to get them completed as soon as possible. But let's not forget the most regular and clear-cut way to get some free in-game currency the Daily Commissions. The Adventure Guild offers at least four daily quests for the hero to complete, allowing you a slight bump in Primo Gems for about 15 minutes of gameplay. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Spiral Abyss If there is one thing we've established so far, is that there are plenty of ways to get Primo Gems for free, but most come by in scraps. Luckily, there is a far more lucrative way to farm the in-game currency, and that way is by playing the Spiral Abyss. This specific domain, located in Musk Reef, is a dungeon that players unlock after reaching Adventure Rank 20. By grinding through the 12 dungeon floors here, you can earn up to 3 stars per floor. Floor. The dungeon is split into the Abyss Corridor, where the stars can be exchanged for up to 100 Primo Gems per, but can only be done so once. Never fear, however, because in the latter levels of 9 to 12, named the Abyssal Moonspire, resets every 1st or 16th of the month, so you can continue farming stars that convert to 50 Primo Gems each. By completing this and following our other tips regularly, you will hopefully be able to keep your Genshin Impact experience completely free to play. <laughs> In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.